What's up, TRC fans? Don't miss our upcoming event, TRC Street Kings at Palm Beach International Raceway. What's up guys, Javier from That Racing Channel. We're back out at Palm Beach International Raceway here at another TRC Invitational. This time we have some really, really sick, unique imports, European cars, domestics. We got some really awesome stuff in store for you. This time out, we've actually started a top 10 list. So we're gonna take the top 10 of the fastest mile an hour for the roll racing and ETs for dig racing and start an ongoing top 10 list. So every time we come out with different cars, we can basically start some competition to see who can just set the all around record for the TRC Invitational. I'm here with my 1996 Nissan Skyline GTR and uh, doing some roll racing here at the uh, private event, the TRC Invitational. The car's running a spool imports, uh, 2.9 liter stroker, uh, stock head, V cam, HKS 272 uh, exhaust cam. It's running a set of uh, hybrid turbos with a 2530 rear ends, HKS intakes, uh, Nismo, Plenum, HKS intercooler, 2000cc injectors, twin pumps in the trunk. It's running a uh, PPG sequential with a uh, spec super twin. The car's running about 31 pounds of boost, running on a Haltech. On HP's uh, Mustang Dyno car made about 701 wheel and about 540 foot pounds of torque. So last time we were here, we showed up on 19 inch wheels. We showed up basically in our, in our uh, show car 
set up. We didn't change anything. We realized that might have been a mistake given the uh, the cars that were here. So uh, this time around, we, we showed up with a smaller wheel or tire. We didn't remove any of the arrow from the car, but you know, it is what it is. We did make a couple tweaks, made a couple changes in fueling, and things should work out a little better this time around. As far as cars that, that I'd like a rematch with, I think uh, I think Gordon's Evo is definitely one of those cars on on my list that I would definitely love to get another another run at. The last time we showed up, uh, we just for some reason couldn't couldn't get 31 pounds out of the car. I think we were down like like eight or nine pounds of boost. Um, I think it might have been a heat issue, not sure, but I think we solved that problem. Uh, when we ran Gordon, I think he had about uh, about eight or nine mile an hour on me. Um, hoping we can make that up today. You know, so one of the mods that we, we, we did recently, actually in the last uh, 24 hours, because we have this thing about, you know, modifying the car 24 hours before an event, is we installed a 150 shot of spray. And uh, it's it's not a progressive, it's a, it's a one shot all the way to the trap. So spools really hard on the dyno. It's making about 31 pounds at about 3,200 RPM. So it'll be interesting. On the dyno, on spray, it made about 845 wheel and about 600 foot-pounds torque. I bought the car about a year and a half, two years ago, and it was uh, completely stock. It had a lot of issues. I got a really good deal on it. From there, it was, you know, E85, Haltech, and then it just kind of snowballed. It was supposed to stay relatively stock for about a year for me to really get the whole GTR experience in its, you know, purest form, and then I don't know what happened. Just stuff started happening, and at some point, we, uh, we cracked the block between cylinders three and four, the water jacket, you know, RBs have this tendency to twist up. And then from there it was, uh, you know, stroker kit, uh, PRP brace and just turbos and V cams and, you know, and it went from being a mild 500 wheel to, uh, to a pretty ridiculous 845. Did that about in a year's time, HP Logic has been pretty awesome. They built the car the whole way. We were worried about the third gear grenading as you know most most of these cars do after about six seven hundred wheels so uh, that's when we did the PPG sequential. All that happened in just one build. It took about eight months to get it done from beginning to end ordering parts you know but uh, yeah you know Roberto over at HP did a fantastic job putting it together him and Marcus and then uh, you know Jack. Jack did a really good job tuning it. Those guys have been very very helpful realizing you know every every goal that I've had every step of the way no matter how crazy and lofty they were I've wanted this car probably since my freshman year in high school when Gran Turismo came out and you know the 400R which is everybody's like you know from that first game it was it was the car to own so this is this is my Gran Turismo dream owning the GTR has been it's been really a pleasure um, even though it's cost me a crazy amount of money you know the only drawback is of course you, know, you can't get you can't get through a drive-through without having uh, significant help from a passenger and that and I can't seem to ever get off the highway because there's always somebody either Instagramming or snapchatting next to me and doesn't let me off the, the car does draw a lot of attention uh, it does very well at car shows uh, we've won two so far we always place and so we're, we're always trying to strike this crazy balance between show car and race car and, and the guys at HP have always been real accommodating making that happen being ever so careful not to scratch something or you know as, as they're assembling things um, I, th I think the biggest mod we've made aside from the power mods I think I think that what really transformed the car was the sequential it just it just became very easy to drive at that point and uh, you know you never miss a gear and, and you pull through you never lift and, and, and the car just just pulls like a freight train until you're done Soul, bro. 
porch on porch crime here. Here, put it on your left. Okay. Good. Good